I want to thank the Zoning Commission for listening to us because I think it's important to hear all the voices of the neighborhood. I love this building. As a senior in the building, we're very concerned. This is a family building and people do have children here. We walk our dogs and with the influx of everything that's coming in, it will make it very strained for us. When I relocated to this community, it was my hope that I will be able to make a comfortable home within a safe, clean, and environmentally friendly neighborhood. However, it seems that my hopes are deferred and derailed by the new development. I have deep concerns about the safety of this neighborhood now, not only for my neighbors and myself, but for the school children down the street. My primary concerns with the new development are going to be, um, you know, public safety with the additional people that are coming, as well as the overdevelopment of um, the Garden Hills community. We've seen um, multiple developments come, some mid-rise, some high-rise. Um, I'm way more comfortable with the mid-rises because it limits just how many people can come from one development given our infrastructure has not changed. So um, what we're starting to see Far Road turn into is more like Peachtree, but we don't have any of the infrastructure like the stoplights, extra lanes, etc., to support the increases in traffic. Um. Traffic is definitely an issue. Uh, right now, I don't use Fulton. Our, our garage, our parking garage is on Fulton Avenue. I do not take a right and try to enter Piedmont from there. It, it's dangerous for us as elders, uh, who maybe are a little bit less um, able to react quickly <laughs> um, because there is no traffic light. Although I think uh, people have said that we've requested it many times. Uh, definitely, there's, from my point of view, there's going to need to be a traffic light there. I have deep concerns about the stormwater, the plumbing infrastructure, the noise pollution of the construction that will go on because many of us work from home and many of us make our living in a quiet environment where there's not noise pollution and, and causing many issues with our Zoom calls or things that we have to do in order to make a living. I also have another concern and that is the increased traffic on Fulton Street for the pedestrians as well as the vehicles. It took me 11 minutes one day just to cross Fulton, to get across Fulton, across Far Road on Fulton, to head down just to go to the grocery store. I find that very disconcerting, very disappointing, and it causes a lot of challenges when I'm trying to travel just a, 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 a half a mile or less than to just do something basic. So it's going to also disrupt our panoramic view, especially for the corner units of the building, and they paid a premium for those units. So if we, we'd love to be, participate in the construction of this development and keep it at the five level zoning that it's at today. If it ends up being a very high building, and we look at the potential for development of a high building, again, in front of our building, our property values will fall tremendously because, because um, we, our apartment, both of our apartments face the front and everybody who comes into our apartment, into the apartments on this side, talk about the view. We have a beautiful city view. If that's completely cut off, um, I don't think we'll be a very attractive place to live anymore, honestly. I am concerned about the proposed high-rise development across the street from us, um, mainly because there's really not enough roadway, there's not enough uh, support in order to have another high-rise right here. I know when I walk Bali, 
um, across the street off North Fulton. Um, there's been so many accidents right there and there's not a roundabout, there's not a red light, there's nothing to actually help us get across the street. The first time I heard about Garden Hills Association when, when we were notified by our attorney, it would have been nice to be invited to the Garden Hills Association meeting to find out about what is being built and understanding that there's a 22-story building going in. I think the thing that's bothered me most about this is that we have 400 families here, which is probably higher a higher number of people than all of Garden Hills. Uh, the, the population of Garden Hills, and we were not even informed, except by accident, that there was an issue related to zoning coming up. Not that would have, that would have made a difference since I read on the GHA website, annual meeting notes, recap, zoning was discussed, and even some agreements were done in private with the owner and signed. I know Garden Hills met, it seems to me, in the middle of the night and spoke for us. Um, and said that the high rise was fine and they thought that there would be a decrease in crime. I don't see how that's possible. I have various concerns about this project, including the increased traffic, as well as the stormwater issues. Perhaps the most concerning thing about this project for me is the lack of affordable housing. Out of the hundreds of units this project will have, there are zero, zero allocations for affordable housing, which means that further widens the gap for those who have and those who have not. That is not caring for the least amongst us. And as far as for affordable living, I mean, you're, they would be getting ready to price out anyone that's on the budget or trying to, to live comfortably. So th these are the things that need to be addressed and issues that need to be looked into. even if the building were to go up five stories. Um, we, were, we have been residents during the um, development of the uh, shopping area, during the building of L. We hardly felt that, right? right. Yeah, hardly felt L, which is five stories high. Uh, we were impacted quite, you know, visibly by the construction of the Sutton and the Moderna. Is it called Moderna? Moderna, Moderna. Yeah. Uh, yeah, on the corner on Peachtree, which was acceptable, blah, 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 but um, it was still, there would be trucks lined up on Far Avenue. You couldn't see again to turn because they would be lined up uh, waiting to offload uh, construction equipment to that building. And even though that's temporary, it's still an issue. Um, but as I said, there was a big difference between the construction of a five-story building and a 20-some story building. If you think about what is being proposed, they're looking at 419 units, some with three bedrooms, two bedrooms, and one bedroom. That's over a thousand people that will be in the middle of our street with um, exits right onto Far Road and also on Grandview. So we already have traffic issues. We already are seen as a cut through between Piedmont and Peachtree. And it's difficult to cross the streets. It's difficult to walk in the community because of all the existing traffic now. I'm blind and I'm sure my opinion is of no value to the people who can see. I'm, I'm, I'm very independent, or I try to be independent and I like to cross the streets, go shopping, I go to the gas station where they can have the development to get my lottery ticket. I move about and with bigger number of people, the safety issue becomes a, a big issue to me. Uh, I mean, if, if a thousand residents in the building, if 10% of them come out at any time 
You are speaking about 100 cars. Very, very difficult having 100 cars in a two-lane street. We enjoyed the nature of Bucket. Mm -hmm. was, they are changing the nature of Bucket by having these buildings around. They're changing it. We don't want to have Bucket to be, become another Manhattan. I mean, who wants to live in Manhattan? Or another downtown. No, no, Manhattan, instantly, because this is what everybody has built. Nobody, nobody wants to be around buildings. We run away. In Bucket, we had the good size of, of, of we have a bit of facilities, shops, nightclubs, dog clubs, and so on. And same time, we have trees and parks and greenery. And it's going to change. Slowly, it's changing. Since the past four years, four or three buildings came up. Why do they want to change the nature of Bucket? We are Buckhead Village, and we have seen some things since the pandemic that has allowed us to come together as a community. So I personally am not against development uh, on Far Road at all. What I am for is appropriate development. But if we could be a part of it, and if we could get a 60-day delay so that we have time to regroup, put our thoughts together and put this development together as a team. We'd rather do that in the neighborhood so that everybody comes away happy and so that the development is an improvement to the neighborhood. We implore you, we encourage you, give us more time, give this community more time to talk collectively about this project. We are not against development at all. We encourage collective developments. We want to be able to make sure that we do this as a community because at the end of the day, we are one community.